Hello everybody! In our lesson for today, we are going to learn about absolute value equations and absolute value inequalities. But first of all, let's try to remember what is that an absolute value? What does it mean absolute value? The symbol is and inside of it, we can find a constant number or we can find a variable. So it can be an algebraic expression or it can be a numerical expression. Now, absolute value represents distance from a number to origin zero measured into units. For example, absolute value of 2 equals absolute value negative 2 equals, let's see, number line. Origin on the number line is represented by zero. The two, it means two units right of zero. And negative two, it is two units left of zero. So absolute value of two represents the distance measured into units from the number two into zero, measure it into units. So from two to zero, we have two units. Then absolute value of 2 equals 2, 2. Absolute value of negative 2 represents distance from negative 2 into the origin 0, which it is measured into units. And from negative 2 to 0, we have also 2 units. So absolute value of negative 2 equals 2, 2. So as you can see, 2 different numbers, 2 negative 2, they are different numbers, they are not but absolute value of both of them equals to 2. Why? Because this represents the distance from the number to 0 measured into units. Let's try one more. Absolute value 5 equals and absolute value negative 5 equals. Number line, somewhere in the middle, we have the 0. The 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. So absolute value of 5, it's the distance from 5 to origin, measure it into units. So from 5 to 0, 5 units. Then absolute value of 5, it is equals to 5. Absolute value negative 5, it's the distance from negative 5 to 0, measure it into units. And from negative 5 to 0, we have 5 units. Then absolute value of negative 5, it is equals to 5. The equation, it is called absolute value because the variable, it will be located inside of the absolute value. So inside of the absolute value, here we have an algebraic expression somewhere it is written x or whatever variable it is used. Yes? So when we solve the absolute value equations, first of all, we have to solve for the variable. It is called absolute value. So first of all, we have to for the absolute value. This one, we'll find it equals here something. So we cannot keep it to absolute value or absolute value plus 2 or minus something there. So first thing we have to do, we have to solve for the absolute value. We need to find absolute value equals whatever, equals something. After that, we have to take care because here three different cases exist. I'm going to take the cases one by one in order with example after. So case one. We found in simplest form absolute value expression equals a positive constant number. In this case, we will find two different solutions. Or expression equals to C positive or expression equals to negative C. Remember, absolute value equals 2. 
The example I gave it to you at the beginning. Here inside the absolute value was a positive or negative 2. That's why we put here positive negative constant. So the answer it is 2 because the value inside or it's a positive 2 or it's a negative 2 as long the, uh, the absolute value represents distance. So this 2 it's the distance from this number into 0. For example... Absolute value x plus 1 equals to 2. So, as you can see, the equation it is solved for absolute value. The constant in our case is 2. And this 2 is positive from here. Or x plus 1 equals to 2. Or x plus 1 equals to negative 2. We solve for x. We solve for x. So, in this case, the equation has two solutions. Case 2. In simple form, absolute value of the expression, it is equal to 0. In this case, the absolute value equation has exactly one solution, which will be given that by the expression equals to zero. We do not say, we cannot say positive zero, negative zero. Zero is neutral, zero. And let me give you an example. Absolute value x plus one equals to zero. From here, x plus one equals zero, solve for x. It will be x equals to negative one. So one solution. So in simplest form, absolute value equals zero, there we'll get only one, one solution. Let's take the case three. Absolute value expression in simplest form equals negative constant. We said before, in the previous example, we said that absolute value of whatever here represents distance from this value into zero, measure it into units. And distance, it cannot be negative. Then from here, right away, we take conclusion, no solution. For example, absolute value is plus one equals negative 1. So whatever is the value here, the absolute value of it, it is distance from here into 0. And this distance, it cannot be negative. Then we will write no solution. So again, if we have to solve the absolute value equations, first of all, you solve for the absolute value and take care of the three different cases that they can appear. If it is equals positive constant, two different solutions. Equals to zero, one solution. Equals negative constant, then there is no solution. If we have to solve absolute value inequalities, as we said, first of all, we solve for the absolute value. We need absolute value greater than or less than whatever number. But here we have two special cases. These are special cases. So I'm going to take the case one, special case for inequality. Absolute value expression will get it less than a negative constant. It can be less than or it can then be less than or equals, but become less than. What does this mean? All the values less than something negative, everything is less than negative, it is negative. So in this case, no solution. Absolute value, it's distance, and distance, it cannot be negative. And if we have here less than negative, everything, for example, if we have... Absolute value is plus 1, less than negative 1. Let's draw the number line. Negative 1 is here. Less than negative 1, everything is negative. So in this case, no solution. 
The second special case is the absolute value of the expression. It is greater than a negative constant. In this case, we have infinitely many solutions. Because everything, it will be greater than negative, will go to positive infinity. So, for example, in simplest form, absolute value x plus 1, greater than negative 1, number line, negative 1, greater than, we go into positive infinity. So, then here we'll write infinitely many solutions. Let's start practicing. Find equals absolute value x plus 3. The variable, it's inside of the absolute value. So, first of all, we have to solve for the absolute value. Minus 3 on both of the sides. It will be absolute value x equals to 2. The 2, it's positive. So, then we can write or x equals to 2 or x equals to negative 2. So, two different solutions. If you remember, this is case 1. Next. Absolute value 2x minus 8 equals to 16. Already, the equation, it is, it is solved for the absolute value. And 16, it is positive. Then we have two different solutions. Or 2x minus 8 equals 16. Or 2x minus 8 equals to negative 16. We take it one by one and solve. Plus 8. Plus 8. So 2x equals 24. Over 2. It will be x equals to 12. This is one of the solutions. And second one. Plus 8. Plus 8. 2x equals negative 8. Over 2. Over 2, x equals to negative 4. Absolute value 3x minus 6, it is greater than or equals to 9. So then what are we going to do here? The 9 is positive, so we have no restrictions here. Then, as we did before, or inside here, I have a positive 9 or it's a negative 9. One of them. In the second step, we will remove the absolute value. So, or the expression is greater than or equals to 9, or it is less than or equals to negative 9. We solve for x. It will be negative 3 greater than or equals 3x greater than or equals 15. Over 3, over 3. We'll find x greater than or equals 5 less than or equals to negative 1. Don't forget that. If there we have inequality, we have to graph the solution set. And here we have two inequalities, which means this is a compound. I'm going to draw the number line. Negative 1, it is closed. 5, it is closed. And now I have two shades. First of all, x greater than or equals to 5, from 5 and more. So here I have solution. And x is less than negative 1. So we shade it into the left side. In this case, we have the OR case. We have the OR case, which is, if you remember. And here we have the inequality notation. And now I'm going to use the interval notation. I will take the intervals left to right. We have negative infinity to negative 1 closed or 5 closed to positive infinity. Absolute value 4x minus 12 less than or equals to 20. 
28 is positive, so we have no restriction, no problem into here. All we have left now is to remove the absolute value. The expression all, it came from a positive 20 or a negative 20. So I will write 4x minus 12, less than or equals 20, greater than or equals negative 20. Solve for x plus 12 on all sides. Here we'll get negative 8, less than or equals 4x, less than or equals 32. Over 4 to isolate, isolate the x. It will be negative 2, less than or equals x, less than or equals, let's see, 32 to 48. Number line, graph, negative 2 is closed, 8 is closed, and x is less than 8. So from 8, I go into the left side. x is greater than negative 2, so negative 2 into the right. And we have only one interval, the intersection interval, which means end. In interval notation, we can write negative 2 to 8. And both of them, they are closed. On a road trip, Andrew plans to use his cruise control for 125 miles, plus or minus 20 miles. So write and solve an equation to find the minimum, maximum numbers of hours. So it's about the total hours. I'm going to use hours variable h. Minus 20, sorry, wait a second, so H minus 125 plus, um, less than 20. So remove the absolute value, h minus 125, less than or equals to 20, greater than or equals negative 20. Solve for the hours. It will be h less than or equals 145. Greater than or equals 105 miles, miles. So this is the maximum distance and this is the minimum distance. Thank you.